All right, so Sarah, uh, first off, tell me your reaction when you finally did find out your immunity idol was fake. Could not have been more happy. Um, it was like, as soon as I'd gotten voted out, I was like, please, survivor gods, tell me this is a fake idol. Like, I will be able to sleep at night if I know this is fake. So I was incredibly thankful. Um, it was just like, you go from having like, I think I'm maybe the dumbest person on the planet to being like, well, maybe we dodged some embarrassment out there by not playing it. So extreme relief, I would say, is what I felt. Well, you know, it's interesting, Sarah, because we've been watching the show and at first we're like, oh, my God, Carolyn's this crazy kooky character and she makes great TV. Yeah. Probably not going to be playing the game that well, but she'll be fun to watch. And then we see her now doing all this stuff. Like, what was your take when you found out about this elaborate plan and planning the fake idol and everything she's been doing out there? I think one thing that, like, they haven't shown as much is, like, Carolyn knows the game. I mean, they've shown this, but, like, in terms of how she communicated with us, we knew she really knew the game. Like, she plays, like, in online groups. So I think we were, like, certainly in tune with the fact that she knew the game. But I think even in that, we kind of got, like, distracted by, like, you know, how much personality she brings that we probably, like, didn't view her threat level as high as it was. Because so far, Carolyn has been absolutely killing it. So let's get into what went down because you you said if Josh played an idol that you were going to play yours, at least what you thought was an idol, but then you didn't. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> so at the tribal council, you see it start to happen in the Felicia moment where Carolyn and Jam Jam really start going at it. One thing, we had talked, Carolyn, Jam Jam, and I, in an in effort to deceive Josh, we were like, we kind of have to like push out some disagreement and like you know make josh believe that we're coming for him would make sense from like what jam jam and i thought was going to happen so when it first started i was like oh this is good plans going right and then they started to like really seem like there was some real beef there between Car like carolyn was feeling towards jam jam in this moment where he said i wouldn't want to play with her or like something about like her that made carolyn think he was talking about her so then Carolyn and Josh start conferencing. Like it turns into like a live tribal moment. So those two then are whispering. So I'm like, if anything, maybe they were coming for me because I knew Carolyn doesn't like me as a human. But I was like, maybe in this moment where she was freaked out at Jam, if she was coming for me, she I thought she changed it and to him. And for me, it was like, I didn't want to like play scared, like overplay the idol. And I think it's far better to play survivor scared than it is to play not scared. And that's probably where I went wrong. Why do you say that Carolyn doesn't like you as a human? <laughs> I mean, as a human, it's probably dramatic, but like, we're just very, very different. And I don't think, and I want to say like, I admire Carolyn. I think it's so much in the way that she's like expressive is like so admirable and honestly brave. There were signs out there that she didn't like me that much. Like we had Bruce's sweatshirt and we would like rotate it at night and she would do anything rather than have me sleep in the sweatshirt. Like it was little stuff like that, where it was like, like she would let Car like have, give it to Carson a hundred nights in a row rather than let me have it. So it was little things like that where like, I knew I'm just not her type of gal. Where's the fake idol now? I wish I knew. So when you get voted out, you don't get to keep your things. So I think I might get it like sometime down the road, which would be fun. But the fake idol is a fun twist. Like I think as a player in the game, right? Like if you were playing poker with your friends, there would never be a two of clubs that looks like a two of clubs, reads like a two of clubs, feels like a two of clubs. And then you play it and they're like, that's not a full house. That wasn't a two of clubs, right? But that makes for phenomenal TV. So I think it's like understandable that it's out there and like fun that they all exist. Like at this point, you'd probably know better than me. I think there's like nine idols in the game when I went out, like real or fake. There's chaos going on right now. Did they at least let you keep the inheritance advantage parchment or did they take that too? So again, I think we get it back, but right. I don't have that right now. <laughs> Uh, any consideration of playing the inheritance advantage parchment at that tribal? 100%. If I was going to play my idol, you play both, right? Because that's basically a boomerang idol then. 
because you just get it right back which they didn't show that which makes sense because like i didn't end up playing it it doesn't make sense to get into but i was like when i'd found the idol I, there's like a moment in an interview where it hits me like i have an i, I have two idols now because you just play both at the same time and you're auto back in and I think that's honestly like, like, well, if I don't play it now, then that's two tribals in the future that I'm safe on. And so it almost made me like, let's save it. Let's save it. But also like with Josh's idol, I was like, I pulled Josh aside. And again, I think I was way too transparent with what I knew, like calling him out on being a surgeon. I was like, what's going on with like the scar on your stomach, like stuff like that. I was like too forward with. And I pulled him aside and I was like, there's no way they sent you here alone without an idol. Like, I know you have an idol. And he's like, no, it's so unfair. They didn't give me one. So all the idols. And so like, I mean, we see a scene where he just does some just absolutely terrible lying saying he's not a surgeon. <laughs> so when he's telling you, I don't have an idol, are you seeing right through that? Or what were you thinking? Oh yeah, we were like, he 100% has an idol. That's why we are like, we need him to believe so in such depth that he's fine. And I think he really did believe that me and Jam were voting for Carolyn. We just really wanted him to feel super safe. Like if Carolyn had wanted to work with me and Jam, I think that would have panned out. It would have given Carolyn the idol. Right. Uh, what happened on the Manta Ray puzzle? I mean, it didn't go well. It was funny because I think with Josh coming in, we were so skeptical of like, he lying to us about everything it felt like, like the career thing felt absolutely nuts so stuff like that we were like we don't trust josh and you know you've like lived together for eight days so you're kind of like these are my people and he's not one of them and during the puzzle i think he was just like shifting stuff around but i was like i swear he's taking pieces out so then i'm like watching him and trying to put the puzzle together and i'm like is he taking pieces out of this puzzle so then i was like scared he was trying to throw it and clearly we just sucked at the puzzle Sarah, you put yourself out there, not just on the puzzle, but the snake maze thing with the ball as well. Did you have trepidation about doing that? Like putting yourself in a position where, hey, if I don't deliver here, I could be gone. So with the snake puzzle in particular, our whole tribe was like, I absolutely cannot do that. I was like, well, I don't think I'm going to be good at it, but I'm down to try. So with the snake, it was very much like I was kind of like default put into it. And I wasn't worried about that. And I think our tribe was like, across the board so bad at challenges that like there wasn't like blame coming out of challenges of like you sucked because we all sucked at different things um so I really wasn't like worried about that in that way and I think Josh and I wound up going on the puzzle for that last challenge because we were both most confident with like swimming and balancing like the preceding portion of the challenge that we were like we'll probably be like least winded hopefully best to to go for this so you had this early alliance with Helen and Carson and then Carson sort of lies to you and votes Helen out. What What's your reaction to that? What are you thinking in the moment uh, when that all goes down and you have no vote? I was like, oh, we can get through this. I think like one tribal no vote, unideal, right. but we can get through it. And I had told Helen and Carson that I didn't have a vote. So the big thing, I think Helen probably told you this. We Everyone thought Helen had an idol which is why they wanted to target her. And Carson even came to me pre-tribal and was like, I think Helen has an idol. So while it was unideal, and I didn't know about it, to be clear, did not know Helen was going home. I knew I had to make Carson feel bad about it. Carson's the sweetest sweetie on the in the world. So I knew if I came to him and I was like, like your word means less, like whatever. I knew that would get him. Honestly, like I wasn't offended by it it's a game and i loved i mean if as a fan you're like that's a sick move i think it was just very much like we need to get back together we need and i knew carson and jam really did like like me as a person so i was pretty confident that i could like wiggle back in with those two and just like over time hoping that carolyn would like show herself as being less reliable than i was like i was so steady out there that my thought was like i could try to win both of them over by just showing how like reliable and steady and like rational I was going to be. Not a lot of people are rational and steady after being voted out of Survivor because it's very, um, uh, you know, emotionally taxing. How have you emotionally handled being voted out of the game that early? Because some people do really struggle with that. It totally sucks. It sucks to be like, feel like you're bad at something. It sucks to like, it's just so fun. Like, 
there's no other game I've played where you get to be playing 24 hours a day and like be on this beautiful island and have crazy challenges and be playing this social game where you're making real friends and lying nonstop. Like it's such a fun, unique experience. So I think so much of it really is like, it sucks to lose, but even more so like, it just sucks that you don't get more days of the joy of it. Honestly, once I found out the idol was fake, then I was like far more at peace with the whole thing. Before that, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm the biggest dummy and I've ruined my dream. I asked this to everyone, so you should know it's coming, Sarah. Tell me something that happened out there that didn't make it to TV, because there's so much that doesn't make it to TV that you wish we had seen about sort of your experience out there. I think that in the time after the Helen vote, before we lost Carson, Carson and I were honestly having such a blast together. Like we were doing like little pranks and like, like so many good laughs. And it was in those moments where I'm like, we just need to have fun. I need to win them over just like as people. And I think that part, it makes sense. Like there's so many important game things to show, but it's like those little moments that are like such a blast. And I wish more people could see. Last thing before I let you go, people that have watched the uh, exclusive deleted scene we put up on Entertainment Weekly today are going to be asking, why do you hug your brother only once every five years? <laughs> it's actually so funny. I actually did hug him when I came back from Survivor. I don't know. Like, Adam and I are probably tighter than any sibling duo, but we're just not like that. And it was so funny. Jam Jam and Carolyn, you can see at the end of that scene, we hug. And they're like, we're going to put you on, like, a hugging regimen. Like, we're going to teach you how to hug people and I was like I hug other people um but anyway it's very funny and wow. actually in that moment Jam Jam cried for me <laughs> he was like that's so sad like I love my brother so much and I was like it's okay <laughs> sir get tears yeah, okay. I didn't he did yeah that's okay yeah uh Sarah I know you gotta run thanks so much it's been awesome thank you so much have a wonderful day